Hello everyone and now welcome to game number three in this best of three series where we are all tied up. Xiao Shi Shi and WFZ have been playing a pretty back and forth game but it really felt like uh, Xiao Shi Shi Xiao Shishi in the previous game was never really ahead and then all of a sudden losing that warden in such a in such an anticlimactic non-battle fashion trying to do harassment really ended up putting him behind now what are we going to be seeing here in game number two that is the question as Xiao or game number three as Xiao Shishi has spawned as the red night elf player here at the seven o'clock position meanwhile WFZ has spawned as the blue undead here at what I'll call the 10 o'clock position of Twisted Meadows. Game number three underway, everything um, riding on this final decisive game number three as we see good luck, good luck coming in from both of the players. Ancient of War creeping already um, in the works for Xiao Shi Shi. Archer will be popping on out of there. Meanwhile, an early ghoul is going to make its rounds and attempt to try and disrupt this. No big surprise there at all. Meanwhile, let's see what the Night Elf is going for their hero. It will be a Warden once more. Now, I do like the Warden in this Night Elf versus Undead matchup because how it is able to combat against that early, early ghoul pressure. The Warden... Um, at level 2, will pretty much never be surrounded by ghouls because of Blink. On top of that, um, it does have Shadow Strike, so in a one-on-one -on -one fight, it actually does extremely well as it is able... To, um, as it is able to deal a fair amount of damage and catch up to that low hit point ghoul. Now, Noel Overseer already getting um, tank or already taking a lot of damage here. Here comes the ghoul running on by, and that ghoul may be heading straight for that archer. No, decides not to, as it does spot the warden. And yes, um, it looks like WFZ, knowing better than last time not to uh, try and engage, decides to uh, not rush in with that ghoul at all. All right, ghoul now taking a bit of damage from the archer. You can see that the no warden is going to finish or going to get finished off here. And that war the warden itself will be very, very close to level two. Now, what this one Ancient of War can do is now slowly eat through this tree line here or here and then attempt to try and creep out that mercenary creep camp. Death Knight, on the other hand, is actually opting to do creeping of his own. You can see that the Warden has shown up and are we going to perhaps see some damage? There is, oh, the Ghoul. The Ghoul actually gets death coiled and gets saved a little bit, but is it still going to fall? There goes that Ghoul. The Ghoul down to 30 hit points. There's a second death coil beautifully saved there as the warden is going to be focusing a lot of energy oh decides to leave it alone i'm not quite sure what happened it could have been a line of sight issue as the warden ends up leaving a ghoul alive that is definitely bad news meanwhile it looks as though this uh, skeletal minion could get taken down yes it is and the null warden could try and finish up the rest of this creep camp by herself come back around the death knight is sitting at level one does end up getting uh does end up getting detonated on so that death knight is already out of mana at level one and this is actually a deviation from game one as well as we are not seeing unholy aura that is a lot of ghouls already on the move here as the archers are on the move as well what's going to be happening is the warding going to try and just prevent that death knight from getting any more kills knowing that the death knight is perhaps low on mana is key at this point into what he can attempt to creep out the death knight and the the death knight and the warden do spot each other again here you go the death knight now making its way back off to the north there are skeletal minions right there ready to tank that damage but the no warden is not going to or the death knight is not going to be able to do so as the warden has been preventing it all right, here is that Ancient of War eating through that tree line, as I mentioned moments ago. And now uh, we see that the Ancient of War is, in fact, um, taking that damage from the Rock Golem. All right, Troll Shadow Priest and a Troll Berserker have been hired. It looks like the Rock Golem will get taken down as the Warden is now sitting at level 2. Does pick up a Scroll of the Beast. And with a quick abolish magic from the Troll Shadow Priest, the, the Skeletal Minion has been dispelled. Back off to the north, the Death Knight, looking to finally creep out this Null Overseer creep camp. 
the Death Knight and the Undead Army in general is a little bit behind here. As you can see that the Null Overseer will get surrounded and now getting to level 2 with Unholy Aura and a Circuit of Nobility. The Warden is now trying to engage here and what is going to be happening? There is a Shadow Strike. The Death Knight should be able to easily, easily Death Coil. No, decides not to or perhaps it was on cooldown. Not exactly sure what happened there as there is another Shadow Strike on the Death Knight. Death Knight taking a bit of damage, and it looks like the Death Knight is going to just run back all the way home. You can see that little, little damage over time still haunting and harassing as the Death Knight now needs to, or has the opportunity to counterattack as the Warden does get slowed by the Halls of the Dead. Or was it a Nerubian Tower? Well, either way, the Warden was slowed up there. Now, the Warden is sitting at level 3 compared to the level 2 Death Knight. And you can see the number of Moonwells here actually rather full. So Xiao Shi Shi is going to be uh, just controlling how much mana is in those Moonwells. You can see now that the Warden is going after the Null Overseer Creep Camp already at level 3. And sh what she's going for really is a fast level 6. You can see now the Warden has taken a fair bit of damage. And now has to be extremely, extremely careful. It, the Warden is backing off here down to 150 hit points. And now opting to instead run back to those moon wells as the no wardens we know will not be dropping any items. There goes that last attack there. Warden. I'm going to be heading up inside the base. Two claws of attack plus six. Squirrels of the Beast. Gauntlets of Ogre Strength. Are we going to sell the Squirrel of the Beast? Yes. No, wait. Um, drops the item. Uses the moon well. Picks it back up. And wait, no. I think he actually just sold it. Yeah, ended up selling it the second time. And there you have the Warden sitting at level 3 looking very, very strong as this Ancient of War is still doing plenty of creeping. Meanwhile, the Undead has added a Lich to the Undead Army as the Death Knight is now almost level 3 as well. This is going to be very, very close. However, the Warden is now getting close to level 4, picking up a Sobi Mask, which is incredibly important on such a mana-intensive hero. That Warden... Now regenerating mana 50% faster means that that Warden is going to be such a big harassment um, in the base. All right, Staff of Teleportation. You can see Ancient Protector already coming in. It is going to get focused down rather quickly. And what are we having next? Shadow Strike onto the Death Knight. Death Knight already at level 3 now as the rest of the units are now trying to run inside. Without the Ancient Protector, the Ghouls are going to run amok inside this base. Many of the Moonwells have pretty much been drained in a moment as the Ghouls are dealing so much damage to these medium armored units. All right, Ancient of Wonders now joining in on the fight. Bears now trying to make their way out. Death Coil and a Claw attack on there as the Warden is trying to finish off the Death Knight, the Death Knight forces a Squirrel of Town portal, and there is a quick blink away, uses the Moon Wells, and stays alive. Xiao Shi Shi, 26 over 50, 39 over 40 for the Undead Army, but we are higher up in tech, as we are already at Tree of Eternity, getting mastery and adding in bears. Let's take a look. Black Citadel not yet done. The Death Knight still sitting at 3. The Warden, I believe, is sitting at 4. And the Warden quickly, quickly uh, attempting to take down a Ghoul. A Ghoul looks like it could be saved. Yes, it is saved in just a moment as the Warden now just wandering around here. All right, hundred or three, 225 damage plus 45. That is the next level of Shadow Strike that we are looking for as the Warden is able to slip through those skeletal minions and now head off to the north. That is a lot of units here. And what is the Warden looking to do? The Warden is going to perhaps go after the Death Knight again. The Death Knight does have a potion of healing. And we are going to see perhaps a rejuvenation onto the Warden. And this is like the perfect opportunity for that Warden. That Warden can just constantly harass. You can see that the Warden is trying to get very, very close to that Death Knight. Are we going to see? Yes, there is a Shadow Strike. It is used in time. And now the Warden is surrounded. All right, the Warden is trying to fight back out of this. Is it going to be able to use the Blink? No. Forced to use a Squirrel of Town Portal. And there you go. A little bit overzealous with that Warden. As it now uses a Clarity Potion. Going to get another Rejuvenation coming in from a different bear. And now perhaps Rinse and Repeat. Death Knight. Down to 350 hit points and rising with the help of some obsidian statues. 
The Warden should not be trying to repeat that strategy any longer. The Clarity Potion will be coming to an end, and that means that her only get out of jail free card now will be that Staff of Teleportation, or sorry, the Staff of Teleportation, yes. All right, Warden quickly blinks behind the lines here. Gonna go after some of those units as one low hit point Acolyte is going to be falling. All right, attempting to take down more units here. You can see that the Warden sitting at level four. Gonna take down a Ghoul. There it goes, and the Warden is now teleporting back. Uh, I don't know where. Oh, down over here. Gonna pick up some items. Has now claws of attack a total of plus 21 and a rejuvenation on the warden that warden is going to be very difficult to deal with especially if you add in an orb of venom that warden will be able to take down destroyers rather quickly warden's dealing what is that what 49 damage wow 49 damage on the low side um up to uh, what seven or 69 damage and oh there is another shadow strike that damage does add up rather fast uh, you can see that the ghoul is already at 231 hit points all it needs to do is just turn around get hit and then shadow strike and it will end up getting taken down there is rejuvenation there is oh the poor bear did not make it into bear form just a second late as we now see the fight underway warden now sitting at level five it is going to engage. There is a Shadow Strike onto the Death Knight. The Death Knight um, using a potion of healing at 327 hit points. All right, the bears are attempting to focus down the Death Knight. The Death Knight, the bear, now trying to make their make a safe escape, unable to do so as the Warden really needs to get rid of that Staff of Teleportation. It is not doing that much good anymore. You cannot get that much harassment in. And what is the Warden hoping to do next? 51 damage yes selling one of the scrolls or yes selling one of the claws of attack plus six no selling one of the claws of attack plus nine for an orb of venom not quite sure why unless you were gold strapped and you are not yeah definitely should have sold one of the other claws of attack if you're going to keep the claws of attack anyways let's see where that warden is heading off to next that warden, that very, very fast hero, just teleporting around, does have a potion of lesser invulnerability, sold the Sobi mask as the warden has been using clarity potions instead to stay high up on mana. All right, let's take a look. The warden going to try and blink behind enemy lines. There is a fan of knives, and there, wow, beautifully done. I cannot believe that. Tome of retraining, but the fan of knives and the acolytes no mining going on whatsoever and that is going to be potentially huge all right the zeppelin still sitting there you can see that there's a bit of an engagement down over here xiao shi shi kicking a free base but with no mining going on that could come back to bite um that could come back to bite wfz all right there's a staff of teleportation the acolytes are now being dropped back down and here you go there is the counterattack. no no counterattack at all as the warden is looking for a bit of a fight all right let's see what's happening next all right the warden is getting into position are we gonna perhaps see another fan of knives the warden could get in a lot of damage here there is a beautiful fan of knives there dealing a lot of damage to many of those crypt fiends and now backing off that orb of corruption dealing minus five armor to that warden that warden took a bit of a hit there and are we going to perhaps see a devourer coming in from those destroyers destroyers able to debuff that rejuvenation so important as we are now looking at what xiao shi shi is looking to do next 54 over 60 48 over 50 you can see a tree of life is attempting to be an, built back over here but the ghoul will attempt to stop it or at least has let the leader of the undead army know that an expansion was attempted all right bear in the front line but the bears have to worry about those destroyers we see a number of dryads but we don't um, and, but the bear count is actually rather small at this point. We are getting strength of the wild. So level one weapons upgrade coming in for the bears and the dryads. And here in comes the attack. Oh, this could be bad news. The lich could actually be in a very, very bad spot here. And what is going to happen to the bear? The bear, there's a fan of knives. There's a death coil as the warden does not have shadow strike to try to focus down units. There goes another bear. And I am surprised that we do not have a staff of preservation. There goes another death coil again as the dryads and the bears 
are just going at it. Alright, the bear taking away too much damage, but now with that, there is no mana on that destroyer. That's going to be a completely different story. Alright, another death coil saving another bear there. Rejuvenation onto the warden. The warden is now trying to make its way forward. Will finish off another unit, and now the dryads are pretty much going to go uncountered, or unanswered for. The crypt fiends are trying to be massed back up. The crypt fiends are the weakest link in this army, as the bears or the bears, even if you lose a bear or two, another bear goes down. Oh my gosh, bears and crypt fiends, not a good day to be either unit, as the druid of the claw now rejuvenating himself. All right, let's take a look. The bear needs to, uh, the druid of the claw needs to get away. Oh, taking so much damage, very, very low on hit points. Is it going to be able to make it back? You can see there is the abomination now coming in as the destroyer now taking uh, so much damage, being forced to retreat, and there is the warden at level six. Warden at level 6 now. All bets are off at who, who's going to come ahead in this matchup. The Warden is just coming in. Goes in for a fan of knives instead of waiting for maximum or 125 mana. There is another Death Coil there. The Crypt Fiends are backing off here. What's happening next? Oh, there's a Potion of Lesser Invulnerability. There's a Blink in order to get away. It looks like this Dryad is going to survive as it does get caught up a little bit. There goes the Dryad. The Dark Ranger getting the blow there. All right. Um, Warden needs to get some mana and quickly. The rest of the units um, need to get healed back up. There is an Avatar of Vengeance as the Warden is now ready to go. All right, Avatar of Vengeance is vulnerable to damage. Meanwhile, oh, Abomination taking a bit of damage as well. This is actually a bad spot for it. Meanwhile, the Tree of uh, Life here is going to get taken down. All right, are we going to lose an Abomination? No, we are not. The units are now trying to save the expansion, but the expansion may be too little, too late. The Death Knight does have a Scroll of Town Portal, so there is a Get Out of Jail free card coming in. But will some units perhaps fall as well? All right, there goes some units. There uh, is the Warden going to be able to fan out knives and finish it off? I do don't think so. The warden's still rather low on hip or on experience there, as we're looking at the Goblin Laboratory here for no other reason other than to look at it. Death Knight sitting at level four has that ring of regeneration. Meanwhile, the Dark Ranger sitting at two, Lich is sitting at three, and the Avatar of Vengeance has not really been making as big of a difference as I thought. There hasn't been a lot of um a lot of corpses on the ground for the avatar of vengeance to really use and now all that can really happen is perhaps oh the warden is going to continue this harassment all right here we go there is a fan of knives and the zeppelin is right there to pick up all of the units again unable to finish off any of the units you can see that the goblin zeppelin has picked up the ghouls and there is currently no mining going on meanwhile the death knight picks up a pendant of mana which may be given to the Lich, perhaps, since the Lich is going to be the one doing more casting. The Death Knight now um, up to 595 mana, rather mana heavy. We can see a Tome of Strength and Rune Bracers, which would be extremely useful on the Warden, as the Warden would then not have to worry about um, getting nuked to death. All right, no mining going on. Is the Warden just going to teleport back, sell some items? Um, sell one of the Claws of Attack plus six, perhaps, and pick up the necessary... Uh, oh, uh, what happened there? Uh, yes, sold one of the Claws of Attack plus six, pick up the Rune Bracers and the Tome of Strength. That Warden is going to get stronger and stronger. However, the Death Knight has found a good pacing and is now at level four. The Dark Ranger at level three. The Lich could be getting to level... or is already at level four now. So, Undead now catching up. WFZ is doing an amazing job getting back into this game, even though he is behind in terms of expansion potential. You can see that this gold mine is trying to be reestablished as the warden is now back in once more, but with nothing to really attack. Um, what is WFZ going to do? WFZ going to once again take down the entangled gold mine, saying, "You, if you know what, if I can't mine." All I have to do is make sure that you can't do anything either. All right, the Warden now heading back off to the north, uh, looking to perhaps t take out some units. That Crypt Fiend pretty much in the free and clear right now. And all the, Zep or the Zeppelin 
Oh, Avatar now actually being brought into play here. Avatar Vengeance is going to be taking a little bit of damage. And this is what I said earlier. The graveyard actually has corpses. So this is actually a bit of a problem. All right, the Avatar Vengeance. You can see that the Warden has been Frost Nova down. The Avatar Vengeance now needs to make its way out. And you can see that the Spirit of Vengeances are, can do a little bit of damage. But all of that was actually pretty much mitigated earlier. Was the expansion saved though? No, it was not. And now the Warden is in trouble. The Avatar of Vengeance cooldown is rather long. So what can you really do? That solo hero army not really pulling it together as we are now down to about one minute's worth of mining left. New expansion being built right outside the front door, so to speak, of the undead. But I think the undead's going to be coming and knocking anyways. Crypt Fiends, Abominations, One Destroyer. Do we have enough bears um, to really punish the fact that there's only one destroyer in the air? And if you do have enough bears, all of a sudden you'll just have two destroyers in just a moment's notice. All right, Ancient of War, Dryads are upgraded 2-0, Bears upgraded 2-0, obviously, as the Warden now makes its way off to the north. All right, Entangling Goldmine, Death Knight quickly finds his opponent again, and it looks like this Tree of Life is going to get engaged. Dryads are here all together. What are we going to be seeing and fighting? There's a Death Coil, no Staff of Preservation, and I think this is going to be the problem. If the Night Elf loses, it's going to be because of the lack of Staff of Preservation. Yes, Solo Warden is really, really strong. But unless you have a way to keep your units alive, it does end up falling apart quickly as well. All right, let's take a look at this. Oh, the Crippings all unburrow in time again. There is another gold mine. More gold will be coming in as all of these have or all of these Wisp now hide off in the corner. All right, this gold mine still has a little bit left, obviously, as the as the acolytes were not able to mine up the entire time. The druids of the claw need to perhaps rejuvenate each other and then get back into druid mode in just a moment. Meanwhile, the warden is sitting at a maximum or full health and is going to be trying to dive inside the night elf base or the undead base. We're sitting at 64 over 70 compared to 51 over 60. Acolytes will be unsummoning that gold mine here in just a moment. Where did that warden go? The warden decided to back off here. And are we going to perhaps see, yes, purposely killing a couple of units so that there are some uh, corpses on the ground. This next fight is going to be pretty much the game deciding fight. It appears the bear is now trying to engage. There is the warden. Blinks in. Fana knives. Gets in a good amount of damage. There is a death coil as the bears are trying to go after crypt fiends. But they are getting focused down in the process. Meanwhile, is the warden going to be able to do enough? No. Uh, wow. Scroll of healing now being used. Bear now going to get taken down. And Xiao Shi Shi is going to lose to WFZ here. But the Avatar Vengeance is now out. Is that enough? Is one ultimate ability enough to really turn the tides that much? Let's take a look at it. Um, dr uh, bear, each bear has been following, but so has a couple of abominations as well. It looks like that one poor bear will be left, uh, will be taken down as well. But now we are left with Dryads against, uh, well, against abominations. Lich could get taken down. Oh, wow, that Lich so low on life for a moment now stays alive you s the lich saw the dryad spear coming at him it was going to hit him and he somehow ended up teleporting dodging that a huge huge save there as we are now looking at what xiao shi shi plans on doing to follow this up gold mine is going to be out of gold in just a second meanwhile wisp are mining here the main fight will be happening as the Death Knight sitting at level 5, Abomination, Dark Ranger, Lich. This is a big, big fight here. Spirit of Vengeance getting in some easy shots. Here's the engagement. Bear quickly, quickly focused down. Uh, Warden quickly fan of knives here and is getting in some easy damage. Dark Ranger now sitting at level 4. All right, Warden sitting at level 6 still. Is it going to be able to catch up? Oh, yes, does finish off a... 
uh, a crit fiend and an abomination the bear is still low on hit points and what is going on here that warden is still just a one woman wrecking crew and there is a fan of knives taking down the crit fiend again all right a little bit of a lucky break the dry is now need to back off there is a lot of crit fiends as the crit fiends are now trying to back off again is the warden going to be able to get off another fan of knives yes it does and with so many fan of knives all of the crit fiends are now pretty much i'm gone as the avatar of vengeance is still in play staff of teleportation oh wow all right this druid of claw is going to see better days now attempting to head back you can see dryads are all right there there is the avatar here as well getting in some extra engagement as the oh wow all right what's happening next let's see continuing the fight warden quickly came back with extra mana somehow and the warden now pushing back the other way warden now chasing after the death knight and what is happening here is the warden going to be able to blink forward that is the question there is another fan of knives dust of appearance another crypt fiend gets taken down as the warden did get silenced right there but it does have rejuvenation so still looking very very strong as the as the spirits of vengeance could just straight up attack uh, what is it doing um there's nothing to attack oh going after the obsidian statue the obsidian statue taking a lot of damage here having to be very very careful meanwhile let's go into another fight here the dryads going after the lich here is the warden gonna be able to do enough you can see another burrowed crypt fiend no more um no more dust of appearance as the fan of knives does lay down and it looks like the lich will get taken down the warden ends up being a bit too much and that is the gg Xiao Shi Shi with the lower score comes out ahead. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it.